Welcome to the MRC GT TCC. This is week four for the Pro Am 2 League. Uh, this is their second race of the evening from Tokyo Expressway in a East Loop. East in a loop, whichever way you want to say it. Let's have a quick look at the grip before we get underway. On pole position will be Connor RM 7777 in his Halfords Corvette. Legger will start second in his Audi TT. Wooders, uh, where is he? There he is. Wooders in his Aston Martin will be third. Hammercats in the Scirocco fourth. Rocky Rich in the TT fifth. Azeroth in the Jaguar in sixth. Jambo seventh in the Scirocco. Spider Team in the McLaren in eighth. Quinn B in ninth in the in the McLaren with Mr. Dre in the Subaru in 10th. 11th is P1 Pilgrim in his NSX, with Shellshock in his NSX in 12th. Terence will start 13th in his TT. DRC Mung in the Michelin TT. Meanwhile, Raffo starts at the back of the grid in his McLaren, sponsored by Halfords. It's going to be a fantastic, fantastic race to have, I think. So let's get underway. So we're just waiting for the cars to leave the grid. The revs rise. And we are got a couple of false starts. Oh no, I think Connor's just not moved. So Wooders leads then. Off the line. There's an absolute mass of cars. Hazaroth now takes the lead in the Jaguar, followed by Hammercat. Hammercat and Quinn B. Wooders is in fourth legger. It's all pretty much all, all changing as they head into the wet and the night time of Tokyo. And we've got an accident there. Looks like one of the NSXs maybe. Pilgrim, maybe it might be Pilgrim or Shellshock, I think, having that moment. Oh no, we're, there is Shellshock. Th Shellshock's third. That's a hell of a start from him. Absolute chaos at the start, really. We go through a bit of side by side action between two TTs. That is Rocky Rich and Legger. GT Raffo. Oh, someone's into the wall. Looks like Rocky Rich. Terence is currently seventh, but GT Raffo up into fourth. And that's Dre going side by side in the background so finally just calms down a little bit here in the wet weather We've got a nice little battle brewing here for seventh between Dre, Terence, Mung and Jambo Terence getting alongside the Subaru into the wall he goes we got th <laughs> Who was that? We've got, I think that's Quinn B. Raffo Shellshock, possibly Legger involved. I think there's Legger behind. They're practically going three wide in the wet here. To head up towards the final couple of corners. So uh, can you get the car stopped in time? And that TT of Rocky Rich didn't, did not get it stopped in time. One thing, expect the front wheel drive cars to struggle around here. Rafa now into the lead of this race. In his McLaren. Beautiful start from last to first. So we've got a couple of retirees already. There's Jambo. Look at that queue behind. Uh, that's Dre, so that's DRC Mung who's overtaken Mr. Dre. And Mr. Dre now looking to go right back past the TT. And further behind. Right, more back in between Spike Team P1 Pilgrim. Oh, and that's unfortunate. And that's Spider Team who's gone absolutely careering off at the hairpin. It's a 
difficult circuit even in the dry Tokyo in the wet it is absolute mayhem Paddy, uh, Pilgrim into the wall from his Pilgrim Paddy and I think that was Mr. Drain to the wall and he's come off the wall gone into the side of uh, that who is that? I think that's Rocky Rich you see, no it's Terence, sorry goes into the side of Terence but Terence carries on, Rocky Rich just up the road and that looked like Mr. Drain very very wide here comes Mung down the inside Shell shock up into second place ahead of Howacat. Oh, and that's into the wall for Mr. Dre. He's all going wrong. Into the wall on the other side. He's playing pinball around Tokyo in that super impressor. Pilgrim gets through. And Jambo just behind the Subaru. You think with the four-wheel drive, that car should be pretty good in the wet. But obviously it has most of its power delivery to the front wheels and into the wall once again for Mr. Dre. And I, he just can't make the car turn in. He just can't make it turn in. He's clipping a fair few wheels. I'm surprised he hasn't got much damage at this stage of the race. He has clipped a few walls. No shell shock. He's nowhere near Raffo. Raffo is taken off. 220.8 is his time. What is the gap at the moment? It's 4.1 seconds already. And Quinby now looking to go past Hammercat. Down the main straight they go. Now, by rights, no one should be pitting this race because the wet tyres do last a long time. So Quinby gets through, but Hammercat looks straight down the, the inside once again. He's going to outbreak himself. Yes, he does. The Hammercat looking for the switch back, and he's going to make this work. Although, the McLaren just about fending off the counter punch effectively. Hammercat's car's weird. Like, sometimes you look at it, and it, it looks like one's got a xenon light, one's got a yellow light. Can quite make up his mind. Obviously, focusing on those important things of the colours of the lights. Terence has managed to get through though. Both Terence and Lega through past Hammercat. And Hammercat looking at the back of Lega as they come through the middle portion of the circuit. Oh, further behind, there's Pilgrim, there's Monk, Rocky Rich, Jambo. Has a Roth Spider Team, Mr. Dre at the back of the pack. He's not having much fun in that Subaru by the seams of it. There is Spider Team looking to make ground back up in his McLaren after that big off he had earlier in the race. And Rafa still leads. Quinn B has Terence behind. Terence looking to probably get the McLaren down in the main straight. It's a slightly better line from Terence and that little wall tap from Quinn B won't help him either. Down the main straight and that slipstream should allow the TT back through up into the podium places. Terence pulls out to the side, looks for the move, but the TC very good at getting to his top speed, doesn't have the highest top speed, and that's being shown because that McLaren has fended off the front wheel drive powerhouse. To the inside, Terence. Can he get it stopped? That is the question. Yes, he can. He's drifted a little bit deep. I think if Quinn B hadn't have squeezed as much as he did, he may have had a chance of switching that to get back through. But Terence now going to be under pressure from Quinn B as they go up to turns two and three. Big 
international street circuit here at Tokyo. To the right, down, through to the left. Oh, a bit of a slide from Quinn B. Terence just managing to get away from the McLaren, though. Meanwhile, we've got Hammercat with, Pil with Pilgrim behind. That's a weird thing from that Shrocker, I'm not going to lie. Two different colour lights. Mung has managed to get in the action, though, past Pilgrim. Up to the final couple of corners. Mung will get past Hammercat, and can he get past... Or should I say, can Pilgrim get past Hammercat as well? No, he can quite do it going in. Should get a good run of Hammercat running wide. From will drive under steer. Down the main straight, Pilgrim. I think we'll have a look up the inside of turn number one. Hammercat pulls alongside Mung. Here comes Pat Pilgrim as well. Kind of reverse. Hammercat goes to the outside. Pilgrim to the inside. Mung absolutely to the inside now. Going through the corner. Side by side between Hammercat and Mung. On the exit. Pilgrim managing to get back alongside Mung as we come up towards turns two and three. Oh, and a, bit of, a little bit of pushing to make sure they get through there. He got more fighting in the background. I can't, can't quite see who that is. But that is Hammercat into the wall. Mung keeps it clean to the inside, but can't quite get past. Meanwhile, further behind, we've got... Uh, that's Rocky Rich and Jambo. Uh, along with Spider Team having a good little battle and, and scuffle. Back with Hammercat, who's still in sixth place. This has been a good defensive drive so far. Pilgrim to the inside of Mung. Mung into the wall, as is Pilgrim. Just about keeping it out, I think. But all this fighting is allowing Hammercat to slightly build that gap. And I'll give himself a little bit of leeway, although I think he's just gone into the wall. Let's allow Mung to get back through. Mung into the back of Hammercat, nowhere to go. And Pilgrim will now go up into seventh place. This is non stop action between these lots here in the Pro Am 2 category. Hammercat now has Paddy on his tail going into the last couple of corners. Hammercat into the wall, absolutely hammering the wall. Somehow, just about staying ahead. And again, no damage. It's surprising. There's no damage. Whether there's a Prime 2 thing or not. Down the main straight they go once again. GT Raff is still leading the way from Shellshock. Terence is in third. Queen B fourth. Lega fifth. And these guys are scrapping like you wouldn't believe. There is Legger. Doing quite nice. And in the background you can see more side-by-side -side action as now here comes Pilgrim to more effectively become the outside for, tour for turn one. And he gets through on the Scirocco. But we know Hammercat. He's not going to give this up easily. He's going to look to the outside this time. So maybe looking for the switch. Pilgrim Paddy, yes, he does go very deep, in fact, on Hammercat. Well played, good sir. Gets it back down the inside, but the traction that Pilgrim has coming out of the corner will, unfortunately, get him back past the multicoloured eyed Scirocco. Hammercat now looking to the inside, though. Trying to for force the issue. 
this time he doesn't quite get it right and into the wall he goes and that's going to allow Pilgrim to get on with it. S meanwhile Spider Team has got past Jambo. Uh, Jambo I believe has a gap to Rocky Rich now. The answer to that is yes. Mung however is all over the back of Hammercat. This is kind of where the battling is. I mean Hammercat yeah, almost uh, as horrible as to say being a bit of a cork at the bottle for everyone behind. Though he is, at, he is causing some great crea- oh that's, a, no, that's not ideal. They went side by side, Hammercat and Mung, and both drifted wide, unfortunately, with Hammercat going into Mung. Mung practically stopping on the barrier. Not what he's looking for. Spider Team benefits most, though. He's up into seventh place. Who's behind Hamakan now? It's going to be Jambo RHM. Flash of the lights from Hamakat. Don't really know why. Maybe he's just testing what it's like four beam and low beam. See if there's any difference. So now go into the tunnel. And Jambo's going to get the run. Pulls out alongside, makes the move. Hmm, Bob's your uncle. Job done. Meanwhile, DLC Monk alongside Rocky Rich. Now, I think Mr. Dre has retired from this race by going into the pits. Bit of a shame. Monk up into 10th place. Let's have a look back at the front. So, it's going to be Raffo still leading the way from Shellshock. Terence in third. Followed by Quinn B, followed by Legger, who now has Pilgrim for company. TT versus NSX up into turns two and three. The Audi of Legger just about to stay ahead of Pilgrim. The Pilgrim pr practically pushing that Audi. So on board with Pilgrim's NSX on the bumper camera, you'll see just how close he's getting to the TT. Slightly better line though through that left-hander. Keeping it tighter as well, shortening the length of the circuit he has to do. Like just a little white wall. Pilgrim almost followed, followed him into the right-hand wall. Definitely follows him into the left-hand wall. And carry on. 16 minutes 20 gone, so we're over halfway through the race. A little bit of a tap from Pilgrim, he's just losing the back end there. Trying to bring the throttle in harder than he probably should do, and Spider Team behind. He's gonna start looking interested soon. When I say soon, I mean very, very soon, as in he should be slotting into the slipstream of Pilgrim here and looking to keep with him, possibly pass him down this main straight. To the rain they go. Sleep so Pilgrim through into fifth, Spider Team sixth. Spider Team looking for the move on Pilgrim, just goes a bit deep, bit sideways as well. Who does he get a good run coming out? And it looks like he does. Pilgrim is the fastest first sector of anyone. versus Honda. There was a time when these two brands were competing together in F1. Oh, and the back end of the McLaren steps out. Spider Team down to seventh.
Just a little bit too much throttle there from Spider Team. You mark Hammercat still doing good duties here of causing somewhat uh, a bit of chaos further behind. Oh, into the wall he goes. Mun gets through. Jambo next on the list. Followed by Rocky Rich. This is a fast Raffo's going. Raffo's crossing the line now. These guys haven't even gone into the final couple of corners. Hammercat still. Oh, that looked like Rocky Rich getting past Jambo in the background. It was. Some good stuff from Rocky Rich to get through there in the quick fit machine. Plus he's got a good run coming out of the final corner as well. They come out of the final corner as Raffo is going into the first corner. <laughs> Incredible pace from Raffo here in this in the Prime 2 category race round Tokyo East in a loop. tight between Hammer Cat and Rocky Ridge. Hammer Cat goes back into the position, goes back out, and they're going to go three wide. Well, not quite three wide, because Jambo not quite there. It's like a game of who dares wins here. If you can break later and still make it, you win. If you if you can't, you don't. Hammer Cat looking for that switch back coming out of the hairpin didn't quite make it work the TT just about staying ahead of its front wheel drive cousin as it were technically the shape the same chassis those cars well that's it same chassis this rocket based on a golf chassis instead compared to the TT Rocky Rich is still having this battle with Hammercat. The two German manufacturers. And the Scirocco gets back through. This is a great racing between these, these guys. Jambo and Rocky Rich. I think we've had another retirement. Might be what is it? I think Wooders may have retired from the race. Continues to carry on. Rocky Rich with Hammercat and Jambo. I think there's a bit more going on up ahead. It's going to be this Pilgrim. Spike the team. Well, not quite a lot going on up ahead at the moment. So we're going to go back to this battle between Hammercat, Rocky Rich, and Jambo. Side again, Jambo this time getting up into ninth place. Rocky Ridge down to 11th. Hammercat in the middle as they now look to go get back to ninth and 10th. Just about managed to build that gap now. You can, you can see he was prying that, that gap between these two, just trying to find the way through. He finally has, and he's starting to get away. And there's Rocky Ridge and Hammercat having a bit of a scrap. We have 
just six and a half minutes remaining in this race. Sensational stuff between these guys. Rocky Rich just pulling away enough at the moment. Raffo still leads the way from sh uh, Shellshock. Then it's Terence, followed by Quinn B. And they've got side by side action between Pilgrim and Spider Team. On to the main straight we go. It's again Honda and, the, and McLaren. So Pilgrim, Spider Team down the inside at turn one again goes deep. Pilgrim goes back through. Spider Team you know, getting the traction, getting the, the acceleration, as it were. Able to drive away very weird but it looks like the McLaren's got it, that same like headlight thing one one yellow one really bright white which is uh, interesting it's almost like he's had to go for a new LED bulb and a old standard bulb in in the car it's, it's, it's quite amusing really but Nonetheless, it's still raining. People are still getting wet watching this uh, at a safe distance, hopefully. Uh, Mung in eighth place. Not really the race he'd have looked for, though. Straight into the ball once again. That TT really struggling. Four minutes to go. Have to think. Can he catch Lega? Possibly. He could possibly catch Lego here. Mile. Uh, Quinn B has fallen down to the clutches of Spire team, team and Pilgrim. He's now into sixth place, so a mistake by him. down through the main straight we go it's going to be a three-way tussle for fourth place and here we go three wide through the tunnel up the hill towards the rain once again we have coming up three minutes remaining Breaks into turn number one. Spider team has he learned your bit sideways from Quinn B. Oh, and that's a shame. See, Quinn B just got a little out of shape. Unfortunately, Spider team collected him. That's allowed Pilgrim through into fourth place with a with a bit of a gap as well. It wasn't uh, wasn't on the. Uh, quite on the agenda that for Spider Team and Quinn B, the two McLaren drivers. Have to work together a little bit here so they can catch up back up to the NSX of Pilgrim, but Pilgrim are looking very quick in this race as Spider Team now goes into the wall. That's not going to help his cause. Let's look further down. Looks like everyone else is just a little bit spread out at the moment. Here is your leader, Raffo. I think he's going to get one more lap out of this, you know. One more lap he'll get. Possibly even an extra one as well. He may get two laps out of this for Raffo.
shell shock, not too far behind, so it means it just depends if Raffo thinks he can get away. There's Pilgrim. It looks slow just because of the way the camera works. Um, whether Raffo thinks he can get away with maybe slowing at the end just to clear, to, to not have to do an extra lap and still win the race. That would probably be the ideal thing for Raffo. He's already coming up towards the middle part of the circuit though. So you watch Mung. Couldn't be. Currently fifth place. Hits the brakes into turn one. Pilgrim's just kind of extending that gap, which isn't ideal for these two. The NSX, obviously looking like a bit of a powerful machine around here. Top two have just kind of walked away. Terence is on his own at the moment in third. I think this will be the the final lap of the race as well. Into the wall goes Quinn B Spider Team as well. And got to the leading car. This is GT Raffer. We're gonna have a watch of him because he has not put a foot wrong in this race. He's come from the back of the pack. Absolutely dead last. Just got to keep it pinned out of the line. Because it will be GT Raffo who wins here at Tokyo. A great result for the McLaren driver. Shellshock in second. It's going to be Terence in the Budweiser TT. He comes along to get third place. A great race from him. In the end, a quiet one. But a very nice drive, that's for sure. Pilgrim Paddy, or P1 Pilgrim as he is now known, are coming up to the line for fourth place. There's a little bit of a battle going on. I'm going to watch Pilgrim, he's going to come home in fourth. It's going to be Queen B for fifth. And this is the battle between Lega, Mung, Spider Team. It looks like it's going to be Lega. Is it going to be Lega? Mung looks to the out, to the side. Couldn't quite get it. It's going to be Lega in sixth, Mung in seventh. Spider Team is in eighth place. Jambo ninth. Rocky Rich tenth. And last but not least, Hammercats will come home for eleventh place.